roll at home in Malibu Beach, California. Dennis is actively involved in a program to feed the hungry and homeless as a minister of the Self-Realization Fellowship. He has been interested for many years in Eastern philosophy and has a deeply held personal belief in reincarnation. Reincarnation. You know, one great saint described it as uh, the journey of the soul back to God. That it's a purifying process. We've got to get rid of all of our emotional hang-ups, all of our likes and dislikes. In other words, we've got to get rid of the ego and realize our oneness with God. And to do that, that takes a lot of going through this world. It's like the water runs downhill and it eventually becomes purified by going over the rocks and the boulders and all of those things. Well, it's much that, that same way in our life. We have a lot of tests to pass. We have a lot of uh, temptations to overcome in this world. We have a lot of attachments to overcome. And it is because we come back time and time again through reincarnation that we're able to do that. And eventually, we become pure and acceptable to that one great consciousness of God, which is perfect. I'm a member of Self-Realization Fellowship, and one of the uh, teachings in uh, Self-Realization Fellowship is uh, that reincarnation is true. And now, we don't lean on it a whole lot. We don't dwell on that a lot. Uh, most people there uh, have come to the point where, through their own common sense, they just accept it. Uh, we, again, don't get derailed or distracted by that because uh, proving reincarnation is not the goal of this life. Understanding reincarnation will help you to the goal of this life. The goal is to reach that state of consciousness where you feel every existing bliss. So it will help to reach the goal, but it should always be kept in mind that it's not the end, but the means to the end. It's a stepping stone. There were no uh, earth-shaking events in my life which made me uh, believe in reincarnation. It was simply a matter of common sense and logic with me and a couple of books that I read and, and people that I talked to. And, it just made uh, sense. As a matter of fact, the world, to me, doesn't make any sense unless you really believe in the, the concept of reincarnation. Karma is nothing but the law of cause and effect which is operating in this world. Uh, it's been said in many different ways. Christ said, as ye sow, so shall ye reap. A professor in physics would say, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And it's just a law that's operating in this world. And those things that we do, there is a result to that doing. Every, every cause that we lay up, every action that we take, there's an effect that will result from that action or that cause. And that operates with human beings simply because, again, we have free will. If we didn't have the power to choose, and to decide and therefore be the architect of our own destiny, it would be, uh, it wouldn't, the law of cause and effect would be unfair. But because we do have that power, then it is up to us to utilize it right. It's up to us to get in harmony with it. And <clears throat> that law, of course, extends beyond this life. It, uh, those things that we've done in the past, as I've said before, uh, there must be a reckoning for those things. Like Emerson said, there's a tax on everything. Everything has a price. And if we don't pay it in this lifetime, we'll pay it in the next lifetime. And you look around and you see people that uh, are living rather immoral lives, and, and some of them are rather wealthy, and they look like they've got all the good things of this life, and they're doing bad things. And you say, where's the fairness? Well, the fairness will come. Believe me, there will be a reckoning. But because we can only see the limited view, we can only see the limited picture, we don't, we don't understand it. And this is the important thing for people to understand. If we understood that by 
giving kindness, it comes back to us. If we understand by giving love, it comes back to us. If we understand by giving forgiveness, it comes back to us. We would do those things. And if we also understood if we give pain and hurt, that will also come back to us. If people really understood that, really believed it deep in their soul, the world would change immediately, overnight, because we would try to take those actions to fulfill us, to satisfy us, and we would realize that our fulfillment and our happiness does not exclude the happiness of others. There is a law of attraction, magnetism, that is operating in this world. And if you have a very strong love, very strong attachment even for someone, you will uh, probably be drawn back to that person in some incarnation. It may not be the next one. It may be, you may skip one and then, and then be drawn back. But also the thing that also happens is that if you have a very strong hate for someone, you will be drawn back to that person. So it behooves us really to watch that emotion that we carry with us so much, and that's, that's hate. A very intense dislike for someone will attract that person to us again. You see, we cannot plot out karma. That is the most secret, hidden uh, law, perhaps, uh, of that divine intelligence which has created everything. And we can't, we can't determine the specifics of it and how it's going to work. We can only determine that it works and try and get in harmony with it. It's like a, a jigsaw puzzle. When the pieces are all scattered, we don't, we don't really, uh, it doesn't mean much to us, it's meaningless. But when you start putting them together and you see the whole picture, then you see the purpose of each piece. And the important thing is what am I doing in this life? We can't do anything about the past, that's gone. But if we're making the proper effort now, if we're doing moral actions, if we're taking the actions which help and serve, uh, we are doing those things, we are taking those kind of actions which will improve our lives in the future and will bring happiness not only into our own lives but into the lives of others. Well, as an actor, I draw mostly from my experiences in this particular incarnation. However, I have come into this world with a certain kind of talent that has been uh, the result of actions that I've taken in a past life. So in that respect, uh, reincarnation certainly affects what I do as an actor. Also, my nature, av having lived certain lives in the past, the result of that is a certain nature. So certain roles I'm more compatible with in this, in this particular life, and I feel easy with them. And I really feel like that it's not only because of, of experiences in this present life, but it also is because of experiences in, in other lives. I don't have any specific instances. For instance, when I'm playing a part, I don't say, oh, yes, I did this one three lives back. And so it's really kind of easy for me now. I feel comfortable playing moral people and, and good people, people with a good sense of humor. Uh, I, I feel very comfortable in, in highly dramatic uh, kinds of roles where there's a, a lot of conflict. I guess, you know, I think I've probably gone through a lot of conflict. Um, I feel comfortable in, in many historical kinds of roles, like when I did Centennial, I felt very comfortable in playing the, the, uh, the person that led the, the drive of the Longhorns to Colorado. Uh, McLeod was extremely enjoyable for me to do. It was the most fun I ever had, because I could be very uh, romantic or be very, uh, uh, live a rather dangerous life. Uh, I could live one that was filled with action and running into all kinds of interesting situations and characters, and yet when the day was over, I went home and that was, uh, I was all gone. Well, anything that I do, you know, I have fun with because you can remove, I can remove myself 
from uh, my day-to-day -day reality and make another reality through the use of my imagination. And that is really the fun of being an actor, is you can create all these kind of people and live in them, but not bear the burden of their karma. <laughs> mm -hmm.